Uh, he has been on XM Radio, on Cirrus Radio, and he is simply one of Boston's comedy legends. Please welcome Mr. Chance Langton. I've watched two people respond to the show. I want to say that I'm totally psyched up. I feel like I'm going to be one of my best performances. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> to me, the funniest thing that's happened in life, for instance, my friend Tony said he was named after his toad. <laughs> and his name. <laughs> I said, no way. <laughs> then I met his sister. <laughs> Ass face. <laughs> I'm dating a woman who has one leg. She's a waitress. She works at IHOP. <laughs> I swept her off her foot. <laughs> the British survey says that married men live longer than single men. But what I'll tell you is, married men would rather die sooner. <laughs> My best friend called me up crying. He said his wife was cheating on him with another woman. And he has pictures. <laughs> I said, I'll bring the popcorn. <laughs> Last week I took a gorgeous lady out to a restaurant. Bill came to 100 bucks and I had no money. <laughs> So I asked her if I could borrow five, and she gave it to me. I went outside and took a cab home. Because that's the kind of guy I am. I drove 100 miles for this show, which is stupid. But it's only down the street. There were three accidents on the way. I was in each of them. <laughs> I was on a mass bike. I saw that sign, Highway Patrol by Unmarked Police Vehicles. I laughed and I laughed. I was pulled over by a dump truck. <laughs> I have a GPS, but I keep getting lost. Finally, the voice said, go to hell. <laughs> I've been driving four or five hundred miles a week. I've been exhausted, fatigued. I don't like flying. I think it's too dangerous. I can't sleep. But while I'm driving, no problem. <laughs> been traveling all around the country. People in different regions have their own favorite sayings. You go down south, hey y'all, come back. A oh, west, hey man. It was awesome. I'm from New England. My favorite saying is, <laughs> One day I was playing in the field with my kid. My neighbor said, your son has the body to be a great football player. I said, <laughs> that's my daughter. <laughs> I went to a seance that conjured up my grandmother. I said, Grandma, it's me chance. She said, <laughs> My uncle and I always had petty arguments. And when he died, he didn't go to his funeral. Because I knew he wasn't going to mine. <laughs> My brother bought a gun with no holes to reshove the gun down his pants and went off. <coughs> now he's half caught. <laughs> you ever get so drunk you try to wave down a taxi, but you flag down the police? <laughs> then you get in. <laughs> and you're happy. <laughs> they don't have a meter. <laughs> Cops 
said, get out of the car. I said, <laughs> I was in a bad mood. I went to a place called Friendly's. <laughs> We're going to my ice cream on a cone. I knew she was a trainee. <laughs> Jeez. I can't make up my mind. Put it on the hot dog. <laughs> You're done. If I can, it's against the rules. Smoke pot come up with jokes like this. Right. They say the drugs are bad, I disagree. Because I'm a dealer. When you get stoned, you get paranoid. I was driving around with a friend, we we're very high. I thought he saw a cop following us. My friend said, Is he still there? I said, Yes. Now he's driving a truck. <laughs> Congress is talking about legalizing marijuana in a joint session. <laughs> They want to legalize for medical purposes. They say it comes in a cigarette, a pill, an injection, and a suppository. <laughs> oh, I know that blowing smoke up my ass. 